next process on the dog gates is to get some material milled. We're going to actually mill it out of this red mahogany that I've had for about 10 years. There's a couple of trees across the street. I had my friend uh, rip them up at his mill. We saved all of this stuff. On Montreal, all of the mahogany is a red mahogany, deep red. You notice this is a really deep red mahogany as well. I got little sections that I can take out to get my planks, lay it, mark them all up, and that's basically what we're gonna do. But I think I can get 16 pieces out of this, which is gonna resaw and uh, make three quarters of an inch. But I'll start chopping up this, use the rail saw, best tool rail saw to get everything chopped to size. Then we'll rip them. We'll go from there and see what we got. Okay, so what we've done here is we're using a domino machine. Put dominoes in the corners. I'm going to show you how we're doing that. As you can see, there's two really accurate cutouts. You do that on the opposing piece, and we have a super strong joint after it's epoxied together. Okay, well, we got our frames ready to pop out of the jigs that we made for them. Put some little corners in there, as you can see. And that radius comes around. There'll be some meat in there to cut out. So this is one side of the gates. As you can see, they're labeled. That's for the other gate. We got some little parts here that we made for the um, location. You notice how they're similar to the stainless cutout. So we'll show you how we're going to use that in a little bit. And then we got a whole bunch of the edge inlays made up. See, we got quite a few pieces, and then they have to get milled down a little smaller. Right now, I'm going to get all of these out of the frames, get them ready to run through the thickness sander. Okay, so now you have port top two on it. That means the port, side of the boat, top of the gate, and side two. All right, so I have all the small pieces labeled. Let's see everything. And all the big pieces are labeled accordingly. So now it's time to run them through the thickness sander. Now I'm just gonna coat over the top of these with some West System, special hardener. A quick coat like that. Take the razor blade, clean the excess off. Work top too. It's in there forever now. So this doing this in part for us. And then when these pieces go on and they need to be revarnished, nobody will have any confusion as to where they go because the stainless parts are also labeled. So right now we're routing out. The interior part, see the trim has been applied. We have this bottom jig that the router bearing is hitting on. So it's going to trim it out like that. You can see where I've started. Now I've just got to finish it. Okay, so we're done with the fitting part of the wood all fastened onto the stainless. Now if you'll notice the bottom section is oversized and there's no exposed screws here. This is the side that goes towards the guest area. Now on the second gate I have it flipped the reverse way and you see the exposed screws but this is going to go towards the companion way where nobody is generally just walking down the side of the vessel. So towards the guest area it'll be nice and clean like this one. So as you see we're coming along nicely. Put some inserts in and then start putting some varnish on after everything gets routed. Alright so I'm getting ready to do a trial run on the boat. Wow 
all of this stuff and you can see that the um, other side is on on the bottom. Got to put the cap on on the top and it'll look like this. But what we're going to do is uh, bring this up to the vessel and install it for the owner to see. And we'll be bringing it back to do some more additional work after the trip's over. So we have our barrel bolt on that's going to hold the gate in place, which kind of matches with the boat. So what I've done is done the preliminary hole in the side of the vessel, which actually lines up really nice. But that's exactly the same thousandths of an inch, about 315 thousandths was. So that slides in. The next part is to put this barrel bolt in that I made, which I made it out of a um, half inch bolt. Drilled the center hole the size I want. This will thread into the side of the hull and it will be a recessed pocket. So it looks nice. So that's going in next. So we got to get started doing that. But first thing to do is drill the preliminary hole, make sure it's square with the way the gate set. So that goes in really nice. It goes in all the way, it's tight. But we would expect that with both holes being the same size, the bolt and the hole being the same size diameter. So get set up and drill that now. Now we're going to tap that hole. We have the aluminum now. That should be plenty deep for a bolt catcher. Let's see if a, the greatest plan of mice and men actually come to fruition. Dogs are on that side of the gate. So I'm going to smoke a cigar. We're real happy the job was done. And the owner will be in to look at it tomorrow. But you'll see more projects like this when you subscribe to the channel. So don't forget to have some nice scotch with your cigar. Catch you all later. Thanks for watching.